You see all this people traffic? You know where I am. New York City. Worldwide Nate. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fly you. Yeah. Shit. Uh. I got a feeling you ain't getting close. Me and my crew be the damn most. So, it's raining in New York City, but you still gotta be fly. So I decided to hit y'all up, because I'm gonna go to Fatou store, Coupe Decor, and check it out. I know y'all love clothes, you know, y'all girls, and pretty, and all that, and super stylish, fitting of New York. So y'all ready to go do some shopping? Oh yes. All right, well, let's go inside. Let's go. Yeah. What's up? I'm here with the owner of Coup de Decor. Yes. Right. <laughs> Where does the name come from? It's French, actually. It's like love at first sight. Okay. But usually more for uh, material stuff, like a dress or a top or a car that you just see and fall in love with. I just want to bring actually Paris to New York okay. because I'm, I have that French uh, culture that I think is so beautiful and so inspiring and uh, I felt like it was missing here. When I first moved here it's so hard to find a cute little boutique mm -hmm. where you can come in and find a special piece that you don't see everywhere. Everything is handpicked. Oh everything? By everything you. by me. Okay. Yes and I also have people helping me all around the world. We've been here for a few years now and um, the customers are very eclectic. Speaking of the customers, what, do you, what are you providing for them this fall? Sequences. It's all about sequences and mm -hmm. uh, ethnic prints and stuff. I love it. Usually you, you will think it's more for holidays, but we're rocking it in September, which is amazing. You're going to see some of the girls actually on some of them now. So there we have it here at Coup Decor. Did you girls have fun? Absolutely, I'll be back. You'll yeah. be back? You found some amazing fun? clothes in here, I love it. Okay, well thank you Fatu for showing my friends a great time and telling us about your beautiful store and about you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, we had fun, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Worldwide Nate. I'm here at Harlem Vintage with JJ Greenfield, also the owner of Nectar Wine Bar. So what made you choose Harlem? Well, there was no other choice. It was Harlem or nothing. Uh, Harlem or nothing. I, I was born here. I had a career in trading and I loved wine and saw that Harlem didn't have what I wanted in terms of a wine experience. And I said, might as well do it and create it. But what it has done, it's allowed and given confidence and given encouragement to other black-owned businesses, okay. especially the restaurants that we've seen come on board in the last two years. So it's great. So we finally are creating this village of restaurants and other retail stores, many of which are still black-owned. Okay, so at Nectar, do you uh, do like wine tasting events? Absolutely. In fact, today we had a wine class. There were about 40 people. Okay. Most of them came from Queens and Brooklyn and the Bronx. So it was great for us because it allows us to kind of branch out. Mm -hmm. Not that we, you know, Harlem is our home and that's our heart, right. but it's great when we can bring in people from outside of the borough and give them a little flavor of what Nectar is about. We want to be the go-to place for great wines, but especially the go-to place for wines made or owned by black producers. Okay, perfect. There you have it. <laughs> Worldwide Nate. What's up? It's Worldwide Nate here at the 15th Annual Urban World Film Festival. I got my press pass, so I'm about to go see what actors, actresses, and filmmakers are here. But most importantly, we're about to go see some good black cinema. Yo, what's up? I'm here with Jamil. How you doing, brother? Beautiful and blessed, just like you. And you. I got a film, make a movie like Spike. 
when you watch any film that I'll ever make, I want you to lead that film and ask yourself questions that will make you examine your truth. You know, it's a great event. Get to see, you know, a lot of up-and-coming filmmakers. Always come and check out the new talent. Anyone can really identify with a coming-of-age story because that's something everyone goes through, you know, trying to figure out who you are and who you want to be in the world is something we all have to do. I could just say that season two of How to Make It in America is going to be a lot more sexier, a lot more funnier, and it doesn't matter if you're from New York or wherever you're from, you're going to think it's going to be hilarious and you're going to relate to it.